Hi, everybody. It's the Reverend Tricia Hart. It is Saturday, March 28th, and I hope that lots of you will join our online worship service tomorrow morning, which will go live at 10 o'clock. There are uh, there's news about the congregation, though, that I'm not going to talk about during the service, and I thought I would take a minute just to bring you all up to date on what's going on. Because though the congregation may seem kind of sleepy, there's actually a lot of activity and some really good things happening. So the staff and I have been meeting a good bit, and we have developed some short-term goals and some long-term goals the short-term goals are pretty simple. There are just two of them. That we will have effective Sunday worship online every week. It won't be the same every week, but it will always be there. And it will be as accessible as we can make it. And the second goal is to increase opportunities for people, members, and friends to engage online and even in other ways by phone and mail as much as we can. I am so grateful to the entire staff who helped to imagine and plan and produce the worship service that's going up tomorrow morning. James and Sam and Christina and Erica and Margot and Mary and David all helped along with Woody Fulton who does the most amazing range of wonderful things and this Sunday my husband, the Reverend Peter Newport, who, uh, who got behind the camera. The building is quiet, but not uh, not completely empty. David McFeeters is making sure that the building is fine, that the temperature's set the way it's supposed to be. He and Bob and George are making sure that the building, which does have some workers and other people in and out, is uh, is cleaned regularly. It's in good shape. Christina is doing many things. One of them, though, is paying attention to the changing legislation at both the federal and the state level, which can affect the congregation and can affect um, staffing employment levels because we're committed to um, making sure that all of our employees are not out of work during this time and everything's changing. Also, just making sure that the finances are in a good spot. We'll keep you posted on that. Erica's working very hard. She has uh, created some new at-home faith development activities for children and families, and she and Margot will make sure that those correspond to the service every Sunday. So look for the newsletter that you probably got in your email yesterday. We are going. It has information on that and links and uh, news of various plans, including a drop-in Zoom gathering for parents and caregivers of children in a kind of a chalice circle format that Erica is hoping to host. Erica's also working with Rodney Lowe and Hope Baker Carr, both of whom want to open up chalice circles and theme circles so more people can get involved. There may even be some new adult classes offered on Zoom, so keep your eye out. Stewardship is going remarkably well, I think, given the fact that we haven't been together since the campaign was launched. The numbers keep going up. They're even a little higher than they were uh, yesterday in the, or day before, I don't remember. In the e-news, um, 124 households have made a commitment, and the money that's been committed is uh, well over half of the goal that we're aiming for. So we need everybody to do that, but it is going well. Uh, Christina's uh, created a YouTube channel for the congregation. There'll be more and more things on there, as well as on the Facebook page and on the website. Christina's going to send out links so you can be there on video at first ever Zoom coffee hour on Sunday at starting at 11. I hope you can come and bring your coffee. And on Wednesday, this Wednesday and every Wednesday for however long we do it, I'm going to host a Zoom in lunch at noon. Anybody can come, and I hope you, I hope you will. Um, the Care Network and Pastoral Care Associates and I are talking about how to create systems for joys and sorrows, for gathering joys and sorrows, so people can stay in touch with each other. 
that way. There's more. But we're busy. We're doing good things. We're trying to stay in touch. And more and more ideas are getting generated. And that helps me feel hopeful. I said we had short-term goals and long-term goals. So I'll just tell you what the long-term goals are. The first one is to take care of ourselves and one another and the congregation. The second long-term goal, meaning it's going to last for as long as we're doing this, is to remember that though we can't do everything, everything we take on we can do and will do with love and creativity and forgiveness, even humor and hope everywhere we can find them. I miss seeing your faces. I look forward to um, seeing some of those uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow on Sunday at 11 o'clock at coffee hour. And I hope you will join us for worship at 10. I hope you are well. I hope you are staying in touch with each other. And I hope you will stay in touch with us too and let us know how you are. Take care. <laughs>